Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Here are five bulletproof steps that you can follow in order to make a Scorpio fall in love with you. I thought it's the right time to start talking about this subject as Scorpio season is almost here. Number one, you need to be a genuinely nice human being. <laughs> The whole trick with Scorpios is that they can read people. So it really, really helps if you are genuinely a nice person and they can read the right thing about you. <laughs> Number two, two, you need to be honest. Going back to the first point, with regards to them being able to read what you are thinking, how you really are in the core of your being, <laughs> which I think it's always a bit overestimated and exaggerated, but me being a Pisces water sign myself, I know that they can really kind of see through people. So just try to be as honest as you can. What you see is what you get. Even if they are the complicated ones, I think it always helps if you are an open book to a Scorpio. Like this, they will trust you and slowly, 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 after a long, long time, they will also open up to you. Number three, be politically involved. I don't know if that's the best way to say it, but you need to be actually um, active in a cause. You need to care about something. If you get to know Scorpios, you will notice that although they are pretty um, um, hol holding back their feelings and they are always trying to do something actively to uh, improve society, actually. They are always trying to be involved in a charity, uh, be involved in a social cause. I'm thinking now maybe of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's also uh, environmental cause. Uh, but if you know more Scorpios, you'll notice that they are usually involved in something that's uh, proactively doing something for the better. So if you have a passion like that, they will emotionally connect with you better because they'll see that you are also trying to be a nice human being and you're trying to do something that will improve this world. So if you're politically active, if you have a cause of your own, then definitely Scorpios are one of the signs that will um, appreciate this. Or you need to be really, really, really hot. <laughs> I think this one speaks for itself and here I'm referring with hot of course giving Leonardo DiCaprio again as an example with all his uh, Victoria's Secrets and um, international models that he dated uh, physical hotness helps but going beyond that you need to be in touch with your own sexuality I don't believe that you can be with um, a Scorpio and be uh, have your so uh, sexuality locked down and uh, be uh, a prude or someone that doesn't let go of their uh, their wild sexual uh, side. So just know yourself and be be wild. <laughs> number four, uh, number five you need to be in, again, I repeat myself when I say this about uh, fixed signs, but you need to be loyal. In this case, what do I mean by loyal? I mean a bit different type of loyal than what I, what I meant, for example, for Tauruses or even Leos. You might find a Scorpio that forgives you because you cheated on them uh, physically. It's all about emotional loyalty. It's all about being emotionally trustworthy because the Scorpio inner world is so intense and so deep like any water sign but theirs is also even more focused on on the 
on keeping it all in and not not letting with weakness out for them to trust you with their feelings in a relationship you need to be entirely there so you need to let them uh, kind of take ownership of you so uh, you'll you'll see this in every relationship that you have with a Scorpio where it's really close they kind of possess you possess your uh, uh, your emotions and they want to possess everything that has to do with you on an emotional level so you need to show that you are loyal and trustworthy with this and that they can have a bit of control on you but even more that they can rely that you are trustworthy.